Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here I hope you're doing all fine we can start straight here in the one hour time frame because Bitcoin after closing the CME gap here at around ten thousand dollar currently broke here the support that we created at nine thousand six hundred fifty so the 20 moving average in the one hour time frame held a support and currently we closed below this moving average and we're trading now below this previous support so currently we have now this red line acting as a resistance and the question is are we able to break through again take out this possible high here at around ten thousand dollar and start to trade above and build up a support around 10k or are we seeing right now this big dump and big correction to the downside towards 8k again as i told you also in the last videos guys it is also okay to take some profits out so in case that you don't have any fiat on the sideline make sure to take a little bit profits out just in case that we're not seeing this huge bull run towards new all-time highs so in case that we completely retrace back down similar like in the stock market here for example is the s p where we broke out from this rising wedge we traded along the new resistance and currently we are again in consolidation area here and i think we could see something similar also here in the bitcoin price so we could stay here for a while at around ten thousand to nine thousand dollar before we're gonna see another breakout to the upside or to the downside but in any case you should be prepared for both scenarios guys and that's why it's also okay to take a little bit of profits out in case that you have no fiat on the sideline to buy back in in case that we are dropping towards 8k or lower so here in the one hour you can see that currently the RSI is trading right at the 50 level so this is a good sign stochastic is in neutral territory we cooled off again after the this drop that we had and this push towards $9,800. MACD still shifted to the downside, but maybe here, as soon as we're gonna see a bullish cross, we could see here another retest of $10,000. And if we go over to the four hour time frame, you can see that currently the 20 moving average is holding as a support, which is a very bullish sign. So, as long as we're not trading here and closing below this $9,400, we should be still good to go to the upside to potentially break here this $10,000 dollar resistance the RSI came down to the 50 level stochastic is in neutral territory so right now in theory we should have a big bounce here to the upside which I think is also possible also because today the stock market is doing quite well but the only problem currently is that we broke out to the downside from this potential rising wedge here and the target in theory would be down here at around the 200 moving average in the four hour which is at around eight thousand one hundred dollar but as long as we stay above the 20 moving average and we don't see a close below everything should be still good to go to the upside and if we have a look on the Bollinger Band you can see that we overshooted it to the upside and currently we're retracing back down into the middle area so here at around 9250 latest we should see another big pump to the upside in case that we're gonna lose here the middle line then prepare to see prices again towards eight thousand dollar to eight thousand five hundred you see also that the macd could have here a bearish cross in case that we continue to trade here towards nine thousand three hundred dollar so keep an eye here on the macd in the four hour as well and if we go over to the daily time frame here everything is still looking pretty bullish we are trading above the 20 daily moving average which currently is here at around eight thousand nine hundred dollar the rsi is still trading above the 50 and the stochastic is coming now from oversold territory so here in theory we have a lot of room left to the upside so i think if we are not able to break right now this ten thousand five hundred dollar resistance up here maybe with the next attempt after seeing another bigger correction we should be able to break it and start to trade again above 10,500 because don't forget we also have a future gap up to 11,800 it's a very old one but sooner or later we have also to go up to close that gap so we can also have a look on the daily time frame here in the Bollinger Band because we are still trading in the middle area in theory now 9,400 to 9,000 dollars should hold as a support and we should not start to trade here in the lower part because then in theory we could drop down even towards 7,000 thousand six hundred dollar macd is flat right now so it's currently very hard to trade here because the market seems quite 
undecisive where we should head to but keep in mind guys that you should be prepared for all scenarios so in case that you have no fiat nothing on the sideline make sure also to take a little bit of profits out because we are in a potential rejection area up here and we can have a final look also on the weekly time frame because here it's very similar like in the daily time frame it looks still very bullish we are trading above the 50 in the rsi stochastic is coming in overbought territory but as you can see we are trading above the 20 and 50 weekly moving average so everything here also is pointing towards a potential beginning of a big bull market the last step is just to break here this ten thousand five hundred dollar resistance and if we go over to the bollinger band also here you can see that we bounced perfectly here in the middle area and currently we should go up here towards ten thousand eight hundred and try to fight here this main resistance also the macd is supporting us because as you can see we had here a bullish cross so in theory this could be right the beginning of a next big bull market so all in all we could be in here for another bigger correction but in the big pictures everything is still looking very bullish and that's why even if you take a little bit of profits out yet never sell everything because you definitely don't want to miss the train in case that we start to moon from here and if you also want to take advantages of this big pushes to the upside or these big dumps then of course you can trade over on Bybit for example with the leverage because here you can trade with low amounts and make big gains thanks to this uh, leverage and if you still need an account you can go down below to the video description because there you find some sign up links for Bybit, Femex, Primex, PT and BTR. On all of these four exchanges you can trade Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage and with my sign up links you can get some bonuses and rewards so definitely go down and check them out and don't forget also to join our free discord trading chat is completely for free and everyone is so welcome and i'm doing the live streams over on twitch so you can also follow me over on twitch you find all the links down below here so thank you very much for watching guys leave a like if you like the content subscribe to the channel and we see us all in the next one bye